Hey guys, good morning. Just uh, woke up a few minutes ago and uh, saw that Soul Hackers 2, the announced trailer, got uh, put out. I didn't even know this game was coming out, if I'm being honest with you. Um, never played the Soul Hacker games before, but you know, I do like to keep up with everything Atlas does. And uh, I see I see just by the announced trailer that uh, this game is coming out for PS5, PS4, Xbox, whatever, Xbox One, and PC. So Atlas is going to put out one of their main titles on PC, which I think is great. Um, I saw it was already coming out on Steam. Uh, you know, it's on the Steam store, so... I thought it'd be fun to look at this trailer. I haven't seen it before. And then maybe we can do a frame-by-frame -frame analysis, even though I'm not very familiar with the game, but that doesn't mean I can't, you know, give some input just based on my prior experience. うーん。まるで世界は5分前に作られたって気分。デビル様な悪魔を召喚し刺激する。俺のようなデビル様なら私たちは彼らの死を阻止すればいいというわけですね。世界の終わりを止めるために。大いなる存在が降臨する。ファントムソサイティ。ファントムには貸しがあるからな。少なくともそいつを取り立てるまでは力を貸す。復讐は必ず果たすが。せっかく殺したのだから、ちゃんと死んだままでいてもらわないと困
I'm assuming this is Ringo, right? I remember that's what she said. Ringo. Figue. So I think Figue is that fucking bird thing we saw later on. So it's very stylish, wouldn't you say? Like it's very, very. Like that. That's what I mean. It, it almost. It's. It's like they went for the same sort of thing with Persona Five. Like Persona Five is so much more stylish than Persona Four. I, I know people are gonna people are gonna be really mad that I made I'm making this comparison between the two, but you know I, I'm I'm just going to. Debulu Samana. All right, let's go back. Now we actually have some stuff here to look at. This is a cool looking gun. I gotta tell you. Okay, so they're bringing back guns. G guns, I swear, guns in every single Atlas game. This is a sick looking gun. Okay, just some uh, so I did play a couple of the, I did play a couple of Devil Summoner games, right? Um I did play Devil Summoner Overclocked and uh the first uh the other Devil Summoner. Those are probably ones that most people haven't played because they're not I I played them on Citra by myself. They're pretty fun. Um the gameplay was definitely not amazing, but I still enjoyed it. Summoner. So this must be one of the main characters. I'm assuming, I think in this game, you probably, it's probably just like normal style where it's not like SMT where you're just one person and demons. It looks like you're, you have party members and everything who you can uh, interact with, it would seem. This is a cool looking guy. Face is a little odd. It's very, <laughs> you know who he reminds me of? He kind of reminds me of um like Dolph Lundgren's face, facial features. This man's got vampire teeth. This man does not- this man- or his shark teeth, I should say. Yeah. Well, let's see. Yeah, it's, it's really hard for me to- I just- I don't know anything, right? So this is more so- it's less an analysis and more just me looking at it for myself and exploring what everything possibly means for the first time. Okay, we've got some people here. It seems it takes place in Tokyo, right? I mean, these always seem to these always take place in Tokyo. I don't even know why I said that, but you know, some maybe maybe it'll be a little different this time. Also, we got this guy. This guy looks like uh, uh, this guy looks like the Fantastic Four villain. I forget his name. Okay, so here's a gameplay. This is like what I care about, right? Because this is something I can actually resonate with. So it's a third person, uh, behind the back type thing. You see Jack Frost over there. Okay, those are, I'm, I'm assuming these are demons we can fight. So that's kind of the encounter system. So it's not following a it's not following a random encounter system, which I think is good. It seems like a lot of games are like stepping away from that, which I'm happy about. Okay, yeah. So it's so it's a little bit different. It's not it's a little bit different than SMT. It's not um. Trying to compare it to SMT5, like the latest iteration from Atlas. Doesn't it doesn't follow that same it seems like it's a more static camera angle, just based on these two pictures here. Or these two frames. See, it's very like almost perfectly aligned. Okay, you got DiCabrio over there. Okay, so yeah. So that so that kind of confirms it, I think, that that's the encounter system, based on the fact that uh well, I'm assuming this is a fight we're going into. Okay, we got a couple of Mothman. Uh, I forget, but I think that's Quetzalcoatl. Maybe, I don't remember though. Okay, so this is important. Uh, let's see here. So yeah, four party members. I, I'm assuming it's max four party members, not sure though. And HP, MP. Okay, I'm glad they... So they're doing MP in this game, not SP. Got it. Okay, um, everything looks pretty normal. Uh, I wonder if it follows a sort of, oh, Japanese gameplay footage shown, so it's definitely going to get a localization. Okay, okay, that, that means Zanma, but you didn't, didn't need to know Japanese to know that. Three stack, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure what this stack is. Uh, I, I assume that's the generic battle, or I assume that's like the unique battle system or something, if I had to guess. Okay. 
So it seems like you don't summon anything. Even though it says Devil Summoner, because I'm not seeing any demons. Maybe you're the demon. Yeah, this man shot Zama out of his gun. Oh, and see the stack, the stack counter changed. I'm not sure why this video is so laggy. Usually when I do these, it's not this laggy, but... Yeah, so that, so when he hit the weakness, that went from 3 stack to 4 stack, so I'm, I assume it's something to do with that. What is that? I have no idea. I can't read kanji, I don't know what that means. It looks like it's a bullet, some sort of bullet thing. Looks like we got, uh, attack up. I think that's... That's, a uh, That may be evasion up, I'm not sure though. I don't actually know. Uh, going against, um... Uh, I forget the name of these two. They look cool though. They look very cool. Let's go back. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna take a look at that a little bit more in depth. It's very yeah. I don't know why it's so laggy. These effects look really good. Like these these. It actually looks even. It doesn't look better. I think it looks better than SMT5 because SMT5 was on the Switch and the Switch is shitty. In terms of graphical power compared to something like PC. I think the most interesting thing though is this game's coming to Xbox, right? Which is like kind of like <laughs> that's not something I would have expected. Like it's not the first time Atlas has already obviously brought titles to Xbox before. Like they did uh I think Persona 4 Arena, Persona 4 Ultimax went to Xbox, but not not too many. Definitely not too many. Okay, what is that? Uh, Agi... Uh, Agi... Dine. Oh, Agidine. Got it. Agidine. Yeah, these are actually new icons, right? I've, I, this is definitely not the normal Agidine I'm used to. Uh, who are we going against? I, I'm really bad at names, but I definitely recognize that guy. Yeah, it's very... I do like this style, because it seems kind of unique. It, uh, I'm, I'm still telling you, it does remind me of Token Raw Session a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit, not like a super amount, but... Like, a little bit. Like, definitely, it, there is some resemblance. Okay, this is important. So there's actually some demons here with Lingo. So I'm assuming Lingo is one of the main characters. You got, like, Jack-O-Lantern, you got... Like I said, I forget these names. I recognize this one. I don't recognize that one. Um, there's also a couple demons from SMT5 that are new to SMT5. I saw, like, a, I think I saw a Mermaid in there. That could be... I, maybe that's a variation of someone like Nekomata, but I don't think so. Okay, so... Interesting, so the demons showed up in that animation, but they're not necessarily... But uh, I don't see them necessarily by their side. That, that's like, that was like an all-out attack, or... Some sort of like, maybe when you stack, when you get like a bunch of stacks or something. Okay, I like, uh, <laughs> I saw this the first time. I like this, um, uh, I like this frost back there. But I can't remember the name. Black Frost? I think so, maybe? No, it's not Black Frost. All of these are in English, which is interesting. Uh, very interesting, which tells me that they have some of the localization done, obviously. Well, they kind of have to, right, if it's coming out in August. Um... Yeah, I think so. Oh, it is Black Frost, yeah. I thought so. I thought so. So there's a little bit of little bit of uh, overworld exploration. So obviously Tokyo hasn't been decimated. <laughs> this isn't SMT3 or SMT4, where we're just in a completely different place. Actually, it doesn't, this doesn't necessarily mean Tokyo. But I, I'm not... I don't know... Japanese geography enough to really ascertain if this is... I don't, like, I don't recognize any of these wards or anything. Yeah, see, this really, this art style here really reminds me of Tokyo Mirage Session. Uh, like, a lot. Uh, Aila... Oh god, Ailamu... Shupu. Ailamu Shupu. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know what Ailamu means, but... Oh, sorry, Aitemu. I Temu. Yeah, well, man, my Japanese is kind of shit. <laughs> it's, which it should be a lot better, but uh, it's not. This is cool. So there seems to be demons uh, in the overworld, as you can see. 
Got a couple, a couple of them here. This is a cool looking guy. This looks like Twisted Fate a little bit. Ah, wait a second. Oh, that's something very important. I, I, already, I almost missed that. Yeah, so we can see over here we have, um... This must be our stock? It's hard to tell though, right? There's like a demon here. There's like a demon, but there's then there's two demons below it. Maybe there's like demon squads or something. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be kind of cool, right? Shiluku? Shiluku Doa? Hmm. Yeah, see, there's Mermaid. Mermaid's obviously new to SMT5, so... They have, uh, some of them they brought into this game. Yeah, this is cool. This kind of reminds me of um, this like background and everything. Kind of, kind of reminds me of SMT3 a little bit. Like the very end of SMT3 when you're climbing, uh, when you're climbing the tower and everything. This kind of like reminds me of the background. There's nothing, really, there's nothing really for me to take here, right? Like, there's nothing really for me to analyze, just because it's all story speculation. It's not like I'm familiar with any of the characters at all, so... This is good, though. So, if this is any consolation, this seems like you can have six demons in, six demons in a battle. I'm, I don't know, though, right? Like, I, I don't know how it works. That, that'd be kind of cool, because you definitely... Uh, the, let's see, SMT3, SMT4, SMT4, I don't think I've, I don't think any other game I played you had more than four demons on your team. So that'd be... I've always wished Atlas would go down this route. Maybe they already have and I just don't know about it. But I always think having more demons available just... Like, you... Because you can go against more than four enemies, right? Like, you can, you can go against five and six enemies, but the fact that you've never had more than four allies, or four party members in the team, I always thought was like, kind of weird. Let's go back. That that actually may be a gameplay mechanic there. <laughs> Holy shit, this uh they did not encode this very well, YouTube. This is not very pretty. It looks like just an all-out attack. <laughs> But I just want to point out that's the same font they used for the Persona 5 or Persona Anniversary thing. Uh, I know, it's like a very weird thing to point out, but... That right there. Ah, eh, man. It's only there for like a second. I, I, I'm pretty sure that's the same font they used for the Persona Anniversary uh, text. Oh, the game muted itself, oops. So the fact this game is coming for PS5, um, usually when... Usually when a game is not made for next gen, they just say PS4 because everything's backwards compatible. But the fact they're saying PS5 and Xbox Series X, S, whatever the fuck, that kind of tells me that uh, maybe there's some features between PS5 and PS4 that won't be able to carry over between the two. Which I think is really, really interesting, actually. Like, if they actually add, added in some features to give you an incentive to buy it on PS5. Um, but I'll definitely be getting it on Steam. Well, actually, it depends, right? I'm gonna check. I'm gonna see. Log into my Steam account. I'm gonna see if it's on the Steam store. Because if it is, that would be pretty fucking cool. Pretty fucking cool. Uh, let's see here. Steam, 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 Steam. Soul Hacker. Nope. Definitely not. That's too bad, but um, I'm not too surprised about it. What if we, um, 
maybe we can maybe they have like a there's probably something on the there's probably something on the steam db yeah the only thing atlas has released has been uh SMT3, Persona 5, Strikers, Persona 4 Golden, Catherine Classic. I mean, I'm just, I think it's a good, I think it's a really good sign that they're bringing, you know, that they're bringing fucking games to Steam. Because, like I said, I've been holding off on playing Persona 5 Royal again. Because I would rather wait for it to come to Steam than instead play it again on PS4. But I'm running out of patience. Oh, God, I'm running out of patience, Atlas. You gotta, you gotta bring these things to Steam already. They probably have some sort of licensing deal with Sony, or something. But hopefully, we can stop. We can step away from that a little bit. Looks very interesting, right? Like I, I'm definitely gonna learn more about it in my spare time. But uh, from what I've seen, maybe it looks a little bit anime, but that's fine. You know, I enjoyed uh, Tokyo Mirage Session. It was like a pretty good game. It was like a seven out of ten, right? So I imagine this will probably be. Probably like an 8 out of 10 or 9 out of 10. Maybe 9 out of 10 is a little bit generous, but like I said, it's purely speculation at this point. I really don't know how it's going to go, but... Imagine there's a lot of people excited, because I saw that the Twitter feed for this was... Very active. Lots of, lots of activities, so... Yeah. Let me know what you guys think of the trailer. There's probably some people out there who have played some of the other Devil Summoner games and Soul Hacker 1 that uh, can give some pretty good insight, so... Yeah, that's going to be for this one, though. Uh, in terms of what I'm, I'm going to be playing next, I'm actually taking a break right now. Got a pretty pretty big backlog of videos being uploaded, so... Got some stuff for school I'm dealing with. Uh, it's February 21st, obviously, so... Nothing really coming out a couple weeks that I want to play. Monarch's coming, Monarch is out or coming out, but like I said, I'm not going to be playing that. Uh, just because I didn't like the demo too much, but... Yeah. So that's going to be it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See ya.